What's going on guys? Your boy Brandon from Canon Designs. Welcome to Cranking the Cadillac Part 2. Um we'll put a screw back in there. What we figured out was uh the fuel pump is bad. I did many, many, many diagnostics on it. I actually got it to crank. Um, I took all this part out, as y'all can see it's still loose, and took slipped that part out, as y'all can see it's still loose and still coming apart. I took some um starter fluid and sprayed it in the intake and it cranked right up so which led me to believe there's no gas getting to the top of the engine so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um bring you up to where i met because yesterday i actually got started on and didn't record nothing so um i installed a new fuel pump relay um i didn't already install a fuel filter now i'm finna drop the tank and install a fuel pump uh it's, it's the it's the fuel pump it's not the other it's not the relay and it's not the filter but i just wanted to go ahead and change everything just so i know that it's new so uh um, we're gonna go ahead and drop the tank and uh get started on this fuel pump then uh, hopefully it'll crank later on today or when we get through all right y'all i'm gonna show y'all the um the fuel filter and we're gonna get started all right all right guys there is the old fuel filter there is the old bracket let me see if i can slide under here and there is the new one. So there's the new fuel filters installed and uh, put in. So uh, there we go. Got a new relay. Got a new fuel filter. Now it's time to put a new fuel pump in it. Uh, so let's get started. All right, guys. This is where we at on the gas tank. We got it dropped. We just gotta take these hoses out the off the top of the pump itself. Drag the tank out and swap the pump out, and uh, we be going back in. So um, we halfway there. All right, guys, we be back. All right, guys, this is where we at. We got the tank drop, and uh, we have the uh, the entire pump mechanism hanging out. Um, right here is what you got is a strainer uh, Every time you replace a fuel pump you have to replace that strainer Please do not go back with the old strainer get a new strainer And if you can if you have enough money do the fuel filter as well Always replace the fuel pump the strainer and the filter all at the same time Because a bad replacing a new fuel pump and not replacing those other two not replacing the filter or the strainer can cause the new pump to go bad too. So make sure you change all three of those at the same time. The fuel filter isn't required, but the strainer is definitely required. So um, the pump is in this little plastic case right here. I got to take this hose out, unplug this wiring right here, and then this, this top will snap off. And uh, the new pump will slide off in there if I can get it out. The new pump will slide off in there like so, and the strainer will attach to the bottom. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and uh, install this pump and put it back together, and then we'll go ahead and try to crank it. All right, y'all. All, all yeah. right, guys, I want to bring it back real quick to show y'all uh, with the top part out. I got the top off, and uh, this is where the new um, fuel pump slides in. This is the old one. This is the new one. So this one is going to slide into that little spot right here at the top right there. Then you're going to clamp it down. You're going to plug it up on the side. Then you're going to connect the strainer to the bottom down here like it was before. And um, that's it. I'm going to show you guys why you need a new strainer. This is the reason why. Because this strainer has probably been in there for so long. It done got rusty. It done got rust all on it so um that's why i said when you pick up the fuel pump you might want to go ahead and pick up the strainer the strainer isn't but ten dollars uh ten dollars seven eight ten dollars you might want to pick it up because i promise you you will rip it off and uh you will be going back to the store to get it so just go ahead and grab that if you're planning on doing this job yourself but all right guys i just want to show y'all what it looked like open and uh where the uh, fuel pump slides in at and uh, that'll be it. So let me put it back together and we get started. 
try to crank it. All right, guys. Uh, I got the gas tank back up in there. I got everything almost back. I just got to install that one bar. But the gas tank is back up there. Everything is back in place. As you guys can see, everything is back on there. Just got to put that boat on. I can't really find the boat. I have misplaced it somewhere under my tool somewhere. But I'm tired, so I'll find it tomorrow. And plus, I can't crank it anyway because I dumped all the gas out. So just wait till tomorrow, get some fresh gas, and crank it tomorrow. So look how filthy the old gas was. That shit is black. You don't tell it how long it's been in there. All right, guys. Uh, that's it on the Cadillac. That's it on part three. Uh, part four, we will be cranking it. I did do a test. I turned the key on and the pump did turn on. So I'm thinking that's the that's what the problem was. So we'll find out tomorrow. Hopefully, I get this baby cranked, washed up, and uh, take it feel take it around the corner and uh, go get my tags. I think I'm gonna get personalized tags on this one. I don't know what I wanted to say yet. If y'all got any ideas, let me know. Uh, so anyway, all right, guys, that's it for part three. Uh, we'll actually physically crank the car on part four. All right, see y'all on the next video. We out. <laughs>